What's up, everybody? Welcome to the vlog. Alright, so today I just want to go over a few things that, you know, I saw pop up on YouTube a lot last night. And, uh, you know, one of them is uh, Jake Paul. You know, we all know who he is, and if you don't know him, he's a, uh, you know, famous um, Vine, you know, person. Um, then he also, you know, once Vine started going away, he got into a uh, YouTube and now he has 8.5 million subscribers and uh, he's also uh, an up-and-coming Disney star uh, because of Bizarre Mark. And uh, so, you know, with that, lately he's been getting a lot of uh, criticism because of all the stuff he does for his YouTube channel. And uh, his neighbors are not liking it, which in all honesty, I don't see why they care if he's doing it inside his house or in his backyard. He's not harming anybody. They're just uh, trying to stick their nose in places it's not supposed to be. But then, you know, the news got a hold of it. News came in, did an interview, yada, yada, yada. And then last night, somebody posted, Jake Paul got arrested. Theoretically, yeah he did but at the same time no he didn't because it wasn't a real cop it was an actor that was hired by a good buddy of Jake's and his brothers um, named Curtis alright and so if you uh, know Curtis Curtis also used to be a Vine star and Curtis and Jake have been going back and forth for a while now doing prank wars. Um, and within the last month, Jake ended up pranking Curtis by, you know, ended up uh, getting Curtis to think he was being arrested. So when uh, Curtis saw the prime opportunity to do it right back to him, he did it. But it's agitated when people, you know, come up with these lies to try to uh, degrade somebody all because it could bring that person success. And so it'd be like, you know, us going back to high school and me knocking the crap out of somebody because I wanted to feel good about myself. It's messed up and it's uncalled for. And you know, yeah, Jake is doing great for what he has. Let him be. Don't start trying to cause problems that there doesn't need to be you know and I mean there's other you know youtubers that are going through the same situation you know like street speed 717 is getting a lot of flack because he invited 20 people to go race against him on August 6th you know and all these people are like oh well why didn't you invite me I want to go why didn't you invite me yada 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 and you know he's already flat out said in like five different you know posts that hey I'm sorry due to liability and insurance reasonings I can only invite 20 people if you want to come and watch you can be a spectator and it costs $10 no problem so he's giving you a way where you can still go but you just cannot race because of liability and insurance purposes only alright and so you know he invited 20 people out of those 20 people, he uh, flat out said yesterday that he has like 18 slots full. He's trying to figure out what all he's able to do because he still has a list of people that want to do it. But he's getting a lot of flack for it because, well, people were like, well, he should have invited me. No, he shouldn't have. These people that, you know, we watch on YouTube have a life, have their own minds, let them make up their own minds. It's like, really? If I go to do something and if I don't invite, you know, somebody and they're mad at me, what's the point of them being mad at me? I didn't invite them for possibly a certain reason. Or, you know, I wanted to see, you know, a more of a challenge or, you know, something else that could be behind it. We don't know. We're not Mike. We're not Street Speed 717. But at the same time, I believe, you know, Street Speed 717, Diablo Formula Racing, and Guitar Mageddon ZL1... I believe all three of them came together and they were the ones that made up the list. Alright? When they made up the list, they came over with 20 people. 
they called out those 20 people you know and they've already started getting a whole bunch of responses back leave it alone if your name wasn't in it and you still want to go go be a spectator end of story I'm tired of you know listening to people complain about all these different things I'm getting tired of YouTube turning into a high school you know platform you get these grown adults trying to act like little high schoolers I'm sorry I left that in my past I think you should too let people live the lives that they want to if they're not causing any bodily harm to anybody or they're not breaking any federal crazy laws leave them be and that's about it but that's my rant about what's going on with the YouTube stuff I know it's probably not my typical thing I do which is true I don't really go off on rants but it's something that's been very ag aggravating because I enjoy you know getting on YouTube watching videos to help you know pass the time and when stuff like that pops up it, it's aggravating knowing that people are doing it to cause views for themselves to make revenue if you're gonna make money off of somebody else because you're uh, you know belittling them that's kind of fucked up find a way to make your own money without dissing and you know degrading somebody else plain and simple but I hope you guys are having a blessed day my apologies for going on that rant it's just something that I needed to get off my you know get off my chest and um, for that if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button if you want to see more about what's going on because I do got some stuff I'm planning for you know with hopefully the next month go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that post notification bell so that no longer I post a video you are notified about it and you know if you have a comment about what I covered in this video go ahead and leave a uh, you know comment this in the description below and I will actually respond all right if I'm not busy at work I will respond I literally enjoy it so I'll talk to you guys later stay blessed have a great day